A lot of times he doesn't even know what he's gonna make for dinner. They go to the store and he, just, he gets inspired. He gets inspired by right. different what things he sees yeah. and he puts it together and it's an amazing thing. I'm really excited for Rachel and Paul to come over. Are you like feeling kind of nervous at all about having to cook for a French guy? Not really. I mean, um, you know, I don't think he's ever had chili before. So. No, he hasn't. I'm pretty okay. sure he hasn't. Right, well, then it's a safe call. <laughs> and if I went to France and he cooked me some escargot and it wasn't very good, I would not know the difference. True, true. Challenge. We have a French person coming over, so we want to make sure that they like the wine. And number two, it has to go with chili. Okay. Maybe a big gondas uh, that has teeth to it and plenty of fruit. Known for big rustic, fruit forward, high alcohol wines. Uh, high alcohol, you had me at high alcohol. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this tourbillon is huge. Huge, 16% alcohol. Wow, it's a monster. It might be a little bit much for um, for a French person who might like more restraint. Probably. Maybe I'll just get one of each. Well, there you go. That that way it's no talk wrong about, decision. Talk about how politically correct. That's right. <laughs> All right. Too, that sometimes it's all about like I'm not following the recipe yeah. and the ratio will think, oh. He'll look at the recipe and say, yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. Series of experience. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just throw it in, you throw that in. And yeah. A lot of times he doesn't even know what he's going to make for dinner. They go to the store and he, just, he gets inspired. He gets inspired by right. different what things he sees yeah. and he puts it together and it's an amazing thing. I think good food has to be really simple in the way you present it. It just yeah. has to be good and it's it's supposed to be social you know at some point it's just about having dinner together we want him to come and cook a french meal yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, i should totally do like that like a devote or should do a weekend and i have one one day of french wine and then one day of all right should we cook so joe can i ask you a personal question absolutely not <laughs> why why do you love cooking <laughs> why do i love cooking well it relaxes me right yeah I think it gives me my own space. 
you know, um, and it's creative and people can enjoy it. Right. No, that's totally um, true. What about you? <laughs> Why do you no, like I to relate cook? to a lot of things you said about like it, it's kind of relaxing because you're focusing on something and I like the social aspect of it. It's very strong in France where, you know, it's not eating, it's having dinner together yes. or having lunch together and it's about sharing. So I, I love that. I think that's, that's what, as you said, it's just well, why we're humans. It's because we share. Yeah. Yeah. Diesel, don't Should I, should I toss someone? Yeah. Ready? Uh, no, one, no, no. two. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I love Yeah. Just have to, have to make uh, Rachel smell the herbs. Just take them out, put them right there. This is so the key to cuisine. Yeah. It smells like a garden. It smelled it before, and it was fantastic. It's like healing, right? It's great. Is that time? So, yeah, what do you have in there? Basil. Time. No, sage. no, oh, time, sage. sage and oregano. Smell it. Oregano, very good. Fresh. Wow. Everything <laughs> fresh. Yeah. Now that it's gone directly up your nose, we should cook it. <laughs>
Okay, so we have one more final secret ingredient. Scotch whiskey. This is part of the Drunken Buffalo. Yes, it is. Here you go. Okay, okay, okay. I can totally see that. And that's yours. All right, thank you. you step back. Wendy? Wendy? What? Paging Wendy! No! I won't have to do the whole thing. No. I will know bit. I might dance on the table. A little bit. A little bit. That's perfect. That's, that's the, the purpose Come of the Come on over here. Oh my god. It's the chili dance. Yes. yes. Camera one. All right, we'll, we'll save this for you guys. Uh, I have a salty. I want to 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 salty. Beautiful. So now, now we've got like everything in there. You're gonna let it simmer, turn it up a little. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cover it. I'm gonna let some of the liquids cook out. You know, and then uh, we'll wait. Have you ever tasted chili? Never. I think for the chili oil, maybe like that many we'll chop up. Oh, you got something on your lip there. Uh -huh. You have a little something right there. You want to just get that? No, don't, don't <laughs> I will not touch my eye. Do you have something in your eye? No, no, I'm not going to do that. Yay! That's perfect! We're not frying and crisping these. Right. We're taking the, the heat out of the actual peppers on very low heat because you don't want them to brown. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to let them like infuse into the oil. Kind of That's it. Who wants to do this? This is actually probably the most complicated thing I could make. If I were making pasta with like seafood sauce, it's like the beef burning. Yeah, we, we'd, be, yeah. we'd be eating in like 30 minutes. That's the beauty about cooking, it's okay. just you wait, you make it happen, it's and the then you're Oops. building it. Mm -hmm. Spending it with us. Honestly, it's great. I think.